So this is my six-year-old Tetramorium colony. Two outworlds, our older style outworlds actually, um, and then two hybrid nests with some tubing, test tube portal. This test tube is a sugar water test tube. It's empty, looks like I need to fill that up for them. And uh, I don't know, maybe 10,000 or at least 10,000 members in this colony. Um, the outworlds, this is where, this is the feeding grounds. Need to clean that out. A bunch of roach carcasses. It's kind of tough to clean to clean it because uh, there's always, you know, hundreds of worker ants out there. It's hard to do it without losing some worker ants. This uh, hybrid nest, excuse me, this outworld is. I think it's primarily just a a graveyard. Not a whole lot of activity there. And then I've got the that cable, it's a heat cable, runs through both of the hybrid nests. Bunch of workers, bunch of brood. You can see kind of a uh, red coloration on some of them. I just gave them Last night it was uh, some fish food flakes. A lot of those were red in color, so you can see that in the larvae that have eaten it. Very active, busy colony all the time. This is a fun one to watch. The other side. This is actually one of the first versions of our hybrid nest. We're testing it out. You can see these screws I have on the top. It was a, a an acrylic top, a plastic uh, surface instead of the glass that we have now. And I was a little worried that the it wasn't heavy enough to stay down solid, so I put some screws into it tested it out on this colony. Don't know where the queen is. Maybe I've already shown her. I didn't notice, but... One queen, she's six years old or so, and... Doing well. I haven't had any elates in this colony. Don't know if I will since they're in captivity. But that's it. That's uh. That's my Tetramorium colony.